Now, first alert weather with meteorologist Ben Frechette. Well, if you were up early this morning, you probably saw this awesome sunrise. This was the view from Jericho. You can see some very pretty colors in the sky there. I was watching NBC5 News today with Mr. Tom Garris, and he got very excited by that sunrise as, yeah, it was a good one. I agree. So luckily, some of those clouds that were overhead have cleared out. Lots of blue sky in Jericho right now. Temperature is 70 degrees, so it feels very nice out there. Still a little cooler than normal, but the dew point down at 58 means that the air itself is very comfortable. There's just not a whole lot of humidity out there. So 60s, a couple 70s across the region. We've got dew points in the 40s to the low 50s, maybe a touch more humid in parts of southern Vermont. That's also where we're finding a few more clouds. But as you can see, no rain to speak of on Storm Tracker. Now that's all attached to this ridge of high pressure. It's keeping us relatively quiet for today. But I want to draw your attention to what's happening to the south. This is a stationary front that's attached to this low pressure system all all the way in the Midwest. Now, once this low starts to get a little closer to us, this front is going to come to the north as a warm front. And when a warm front comes through, that typically means conditions get a little bit more unsettled. So we're going to see the clouds increasing for the latter half of today into the overnight. And that's coming ahead of some showers and some storms for pretty much the entire day tomorrow. Now, there is some improvement on Sunday, but I don't think either of the two weekend days is totally dry. Certainly the wetter of the two days is Saturday with those periods of rain, a couple strong storms, mainly in the afternoon to the evening hours. I think Sunday is looking like the better bet for any outdoor plans, but just be aware it doesn't look like a totally dry day at this point. For today, I think this is the best bet if you want to go outside and enjoy some dry weather. We've just got some clouds early, more clouds as we go into the overnight. I think temperatures rise a few more degrees from where they are now, and we fall right back into the 50s and for some the 40s as we go through the overnight, with of course those clouds beginning to increase. And you can really see this well here on Futurecast. By 9 o'clock, thinking most folks are in the mostly cloudy category, and then by tomorrow morning, this is the warm front that starts to come to the north. Expecting a few showers, maybe a rumble of thunder in here. And as we go through the rest of the day, you see we have a few more chances for showers in there. But look what happens over northern New York. You see how it starts to get a little more clear? If the forecast trends a little bit more clear in northern New York and especially in Vermont, some of these storms could be on the strong side. This is something we're watching very carefully for tomorrow. But I think the bottom line is expect a decent amount of rain, some storms possible. As we go into Sunday morning, I think there are some clouds to start off a few showers as well, but the general trend is for those to leave as we go through mainly towards the overnight Sunday into Monday. So this is the severe threat level for tomorrow. You can see the level one out of five risk towards the south. I think when you check back with me tomorrow morning, this will end up getting pulled a little further to the north just because of that severe potential. We'll need to watch the models and see how this trends, but just be aware this is something we're watching very carefully, which is why tomorrow is now an impact day. Think again, Sunday is the drier of the two weekend days, but still expecting a couple showers. Our next totally dry day around here is Monday, Tuesday looking good as well, but then Wednesday of Thursday and next week do look a little on the wet side, Tom. All right, Ben.